I arrived at Hickling Parish Staith on Friday afternoon, where the OGA members had already set up a gazebo. I launched off the parish slipway and went out for a sail. It quickly became clear that single-handed sailing in water very restricted by weeds was going to be hard work when handling four sails. That evening we had pizza and chatted while the Tiddy Boys got into their stride. Syrinx was set up with her camping tent, and under a fairly clear sky I settled down to the first night in my spacious accommodation. Saturday morning we awoke to a lovely sky and plenty of birds, including Egyptian geese, heron, and of course ducks. <coughs> but a beautiful rainbow warned of the intermittent showers we were to have during the day. We gathered for a briefing by Joe, who had organised the event. And then we made our way out onto the broad and milled around until everyone was underway. Sarah was volunteered to crew for me, which turned out to be very helpful. Run downwind showed that the masters were being chased by a mad duck. We shot downwind, but had considerable difficulty making our way up Meadow Dyke to get to Horsey Mere. Brisk sailing brought us into Horsey Mere Staith and alongside the National Trust drainage wind pump for tea and lunch, before a quicker run back with the wind behind us down Meadow Dyke. Dinner was a takeaway kindly organised by Joe and Claire but I bailed out quite early as I, as I was tired. Sunday morning was brighter and breezier. We again collected together just outside the staith and got away ahead of most of the sailing club. That's very sweet of them, isn't it? <laughs> well, we just have to turn around with them then, don't we? We followed Dutch rules so that the boats at front turned back to allow the others to catch up. And then we sailed in company down Higham Sound. We turned onto the River Thurn and stopped for an early lunch at Martham Dyke, making a gaggle of old gathers. What were you trying to say? We were treated to a wonderful display of geese, a flock of geese flying in, in front of a rainbow. And in fact, on the way back we saw a harrier, which you might just see in the corner there, flying over the reeds. 
The sail back was a battle upwind the whole way, and too energetic to allow me to film anything, having stupidly forgotten to set up my GoPro, which is normally attached to the boat. But all in all, it was an excellent sail and weekend. Thank you to all the East Coast old gaffers, and to Sarah especially for being a top crew.